Good morning. Good morning. I gotta say, I'm loving waking up like this. To come up here to the roof terrace, listening to the birds. Nice view. So peaceful. Great way to start the day. We're going up a volcano today. And we're gonna see what the landscape's like up there. Apparently, it is like another planet up there. So I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna hit the road. And we'll see what it's all about. Right, well, we need to go to the volcano. But Sean has left his, uh, left his wallet somewhere. Can't find it anywhere. So uh, we're gonna go back to the garage we went to last thing last night and see if we can find that and then go up the volcano. All right, look at this, I'll check, check out the car. Look at that beast. Look at this, the mirrors. Sean, your wallet. Mate, somebody has actually found his wallet and put it in the car door handle. That's how you know you're in a place with nice people around, man. Angels. The angels are angels. actually smiling on you. <laughs> Jesus. Mate, in the UK, if someone found your wallet on the floor, that'd be gone. Is everything in there? I guess it would it's be. Only got bank card. Is that all that was in there? Yeah. For sake. Man, literally a bank card. All that and all your all that was in there was your bank card. Yeah. I thought you'd have like driving license and all sorts in there. Yeah, I mean, that's stupid. Oh my god, uh, yeah. Because you know you're going to lose it. I know myself. I only just had the conversation. Yeah, I know. I just said it's a wonder he's travelled half the world on his own because he loses things all the time. And he said, I've got angels on me. He said, but they don't make it easy for me. And then look at that. Your wallet's in the bloody door handle. Mental. Anyway, what I was going to show you is this. You unlock the car. The, the mirrors come out and you get this little, oh, you can't even see it. There's a, there's a little um, symbol on the floor comes up. It's pretty cool. It's quite a nice little uh, futuristic car in here. It's like a little spaceship. Look at this. See these lights around here? They're usually purple when you're driving. And, and what happens is when somebody's coming up behind you in your blind spot, this goes orange. I, I just think that's an awesome uh, little feature. I'll try and get Get that on camera so I can show you. But yeah, right, well, off to the volcano. We don't need to go to the garage. I can't believe somebody found that and put it in the bloody door handle. Not only did they find a wallet on the floor and not keep it and try and spend money on the card, but they've realised that it probably came from this car. He probably dropped it when he got out. And they've put it in the door handle and nobody's taken it. Like, that's, that's beautiful. I like that. I've got a lot of time for that. A lot of respect. Let's go. Dime. Cuántas veces me volviste de mente? Ahora sin que estoy tan solo no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. There she is, Mount Tady. Believe it or not, that volcano on this tiny little island is the third largest volcanic peak in the world. On this little island. It's crazy. It's blowing my mind. That is over 3,700 meters high. It is the tallest peak on Spanish soil and it is 7,500 meters above sea level. And we're gonna go up there. Now, there is a cable car up there. Usually you have to pre book, but we're winging it and hopefully we can jump on the cable car and get right to the tippy top because that's where I want to go. Probably should have pre-booked it, but I did not know until today, so let's go. Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente? Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Scorched earth. Earlier on this year, there's some mad wildfires here and you can see all the way down the north side of the mountain, heading up to the peak of the volcano. Ashes everywhere. This ground is all scorched. Trees are burnt. You can see some signs of life coming back through though. You can see the green uh, pine, pine leaves, pine needles. So all is not as bad as it first seems. You're driving through and it looks absolutely devastating, but 
you take a closer look and you can see that it is actually still alive and regenerating. Just look at it up here. Awesome. The desert wasteland. Every single one of these rocks were kicked out the top of a volcano. Every single one. Uh, it's pretty bloody warm here. You have to take these trousers off, man. Way too warm. I thought it was going to be cold up here, you know, when you go up high you think it's going to be cold, but look how close the sun is. Now, if you want to drive up here, be careful. The roads are treacherous. There are warning signs of fatalities over the years. There are cyclists everywhere. A lot of motorbikes, a lot of buses, and the, and the roads here are as tight as they can be. It's definitely something you need to do here though. This is a, you know, you're away from all the beach resorts and the palm trees, the ocean, all the little restaurants and fast food places, bars. This is a, a complete 180 flip on, on what, what, what you think Tenerife is. This is more my sort of scene. Just out in nature, just the peace and quiet of it all. Parking up here is a bit of a nightmare. God, five miles away, mate. F***ing bitch. Parking up here is a bit of a nightmare. It's busy, it's very busy. There's no way we're getting that cable car. There's no way. So you definitely need to pre-book that. If you want to go right to the tippy top, you're going to need to pre-book that cable car. The cable car goes up about two kilometers, I believe. And then you've got about a half hour walk to get to the actual tip after that. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's about 25 euros, 25, 30 euros per person. Just book it online before you get here because you won't get up there otherwise. It's so busy. But, oh, look at this. Cute little house, isn't it? We're now going into the uh, Parque Nacional de Telde del Tide Centro de Vistenses de Can. Basically, I can't read it. <clears throat> Hopefully, the altitude up here is quite high. It's a little difficult to breathe, actually, which is surprising because uh, I don't know. Usually don't have a problem with that. But <clears throat> there's a little restaurant in here. There's quite a few restaurants along the way as well, so don't worry about packing a packed lunch, although it would be cheaper. And there are some actual picnic spots on the way all over the show. Nice little spots with a nice view in that, so you can have a little picnic with your family or whatever. Would be, uh, would make, quite a, make for quite a nice day out. Museum. museum in there? All right, well, there you go. There's a museum here. Where's the restaurant? Oh, here we go. Excuse me, Marcy, we play. Gracias. Right. More like a cafeteria than a restaurant. There are actual restaurants along the way, but sandwiches and all that there. Not sure about the prices yet, but I am hungry, so I'm going to be getting in that queue in just a minute. First piss. All right, we're here. We're here at the uh, cable cars. It's very, very busy. We've had to park all the way down the bottom of the hill. I really don't think 
We're gonna be able to just walk in here and jump on a cable car. Look, there's, there's one there. It goes all the way up, around two kilometers. And, and you have to pre-book it. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get in, but at least I can see how much it's worth. That's a fair walk up that hill, man. All the way around there. Our car is that gray one right on the end. It's a mental landscape though. Mental. It's like Mars. As you're driving around, you go through all different types of landscape. It's crazy, the environment changes so drastically in such a like, short space of time. It's stunning up here, it really is. It's like a burst of life just come out of nowhere. It's awesome. Here we go, information point. There we see, online tickets. I was wrong, it is not 25 euros. It is 40 euros per adult, 20 euros per child. You want a return ticket, unless you want to walk down. I think you can walk down, but it takes a while. It says book your tickets online. There's a little QR code here. I'll see if I can do it now. This is if I even get any signal up here, which probably won't. Good old 3G, used to be good, but it's not worth anything anymore, is it? Okay, no internet up here at all. And I've just seen a good old fashioned sign that will not let you down when you've got no 4G. Tickets sold out. So there's your answer. Pre book. Pre book. Fuck, I'm starving, man. Let's go find something to eat. Come on. Ah, oh, there's food here. Result. Prices, prices. Beers are three euros a can. Pretty standard, it's not too bad. We're not trying to rip you off at least. I don't know what the food's like. Four euros fifty for a sandwich, that's not bad. The place we're in earlier, nine euros a sandwich, ridiculous. Nah, this is way better. It's a mad view in here as well. Look at this. Ah, oh, perfect. 10 euros 50, right at the bottom of the cable car as well, so it's right in the tourist spot. I think that's pretty good value for money, really. It's cheap. It's mad, is it? how I remembered it. Right. Cheap and a good view. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. No queue in here either. You got We walk straight in. It's all pretty good value for money. You've got a mad view. This is definitely the spot to come. Up When you come up here, go to the cable car one. It is actually, it's actually way better than the other one. I actually thought the other one over there would be better value for money because it's a little bit out of the way, you know? But this is the one to come to. Well, I guess that's it for me then. If you want to get to the peak of Mount Teddy on the island of Tenerife, you're going to need to be a bit more prepared than I was today. Don't try and wing it because it's bloody busy up there and you need to pre-book that cable car or you will not get to the peak. And if volcanoes is what you're into, check out this video here. We hiked the most active volcano in Iceland. Peace out, people.